All right, y'all, how y'all doing today? Uh, driving home, you have to excuse me. I'm probably not gonna be looking at this camera uh, a whole lot, but anyways, um, I wanna talk to y'all today about Trump basically putting men on pedestals, things like that. Um, we, um, you know, when he lost this last election, even though everybody knows it was rigged, okay, that's fine. It was, but when he lost, you know, I, I see a lot of people coming out and say, you know, this White House or White Hats business about, oh, it's all part of the plan, all this stuff. I can assure you it wasn't part of the plan. Uh, I'm just going to tell you now that, you know, I don't put people on pedestals, man. I don't, Trump is not a savior. He's not going to save you. Yeah. Was he good for the country? Sure. I mean, he was, you know, a stand up guy, good for the economy. All of those things, our economy was doing great when he was in office. Everybody knows that you gotta be living under a rock or something. If you don't, you know, if you don't know that, uh, he, um, he basically, um, you know, lost the election, but anyways, these, these conspiracy, some of these websites, uh, you know, seem to think that, you know, he's going to win the next election and all that. I'm going to tell everybody right now, I hate to spoil everybody's dinner, but he ain't winning the next election. They're not going to let him win if there even is a next election. And with everything that's happening over in Israel right now, I'm telling you that I don't see, number one, I don't see another election happening. They, they're going to they're declare war and suspend the elections, and that's gonna, just going to probably be that. I may be wrong. Hopefully I am wrong. I, I, hope, I'm, I, hope, I'm, I hope I am wrong. But, I mean, I, I, don't, see, I don't see him, uh, <clears throat> them letting him get back in. And, uh, anyways, um, you know, so basically what I'm trying to tell everybody is you better prep up. We're all on our own here. Uh, better help our communities and we live in, but Trump ain't riding in on no white horse and ain't saving nobody. Sorry. I hate to tell you, but it ain't happening. So, um, again, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm telling you, I liked a lot of things he did, you know, as president, um, the one thing I didn't like was the whole vaccine push thing. But um, other than that, uh, you know, I, I liked what he did. And I liked how he, he, he stood up for our country, you know, and the trade deals and all of that. Uh, but I'm just telling you, I don't put anybody on no pedestal. He's just a man just like me and all of you out there. So... Um, again, um, if you don't like what I'm saying, okay, whatever, but, uh, you can comment down below, but, um, or comment if you do like what I'm saying and give me a thumbs up. Uh, anyways, that's really about all I really had to say about that. I just wanted to talk to everybody about it because I just see people all the time on the internet, all, you know, thinking, you know, they acted like Trump, some type of savior. I mean, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, you know, he, I mean, it's, he's just a man and, uh, you know, I'm a Christian, so, you know, I don't idolize anybody or any of that. And, uh, I know what the Bible says and, you know, there's, uh, one savior and that's Jesus Christ and that's it and again uh, everybody just better prep up You're seeing all this invasion of our southern border a lot of these military age men crossing I'm telling you you better have your weapons ready and all of that because what's going on in Israel can happen here very very quickly and if you don't think it can well I guess you just go crawl back under the rock that you're under now and We'll see, but I'm telling you, it can happen and it probably will happen. So anyways, I hope you all have a great evening. Peace out.